host, the inimitable David Devant and his spirit wife. And if you're not too sure what quite to expect, take a look at this. Ginger Ran. Well, that was Ginger there from David Devant and his spirit wife, and we've got Vessel here with us from that said band. Yeah. Hi, how are you? I'm very well. Thank now, you. first up, the name Vessel and David Devant and his spirit wife. Right. Not run of the mill names. They're not. Where no, did they come but from? But I do think it is equally valid to have a made up name yeah. and a real name, mm -hmm. don't you? Yeah. Yep. But, yep. Um, <laughs> yes. Vessel, you just think of me as a pot, and you, you can shape me any way you want me. And eventually, I'm going to be fired in the kiln of celebritydom. Hey! And the only way to change me then will be to smash me. So, uh, and I'll be glazed as well, won't I? You know. <laughs> we could go on. But David Devont and his spirit wife, um, it's an expression we liked, and um, that's why we chose it. But he was a very, 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 very famous conjurer not an obscure one at the turn of the century and conjuring as you know was the rock and roll of its day mm -hmm. you know they led a very debauched life traveling around the country and mm -hmm. not in tour buses like ours but <laughs> so that's where so, that came yeah and the spirit wife was a trick that david devont used to perform based on the concept that everyone has an ideal partner somewhere so what was the, the trick it was a woman would float horizontally in front of him. I don't know oh, if she yeah. appeared from nowhere because I've only ever seen a still photo. Uh -huh. And uh, so that's that. And that's the spirit wife. I know that in your act you've got a spirit wife, haven't you? Is it? She, we haven't seen her for a while, actually. Have you not? No. Um, Why? Someone did once imply that she was a nighty on a stick. So... Uh, <laughs> You yeah, that use, might be why she hasn't come back. You use a lot of uh, conjuring and uh, illusions in your act. Are yeah, you, it's you... more elation kind of magic. It's not conjuring, if, but it might seem like real magic because you're so drawn into the actual show. You're, the line between art and reality is blurred. Right. So. It's not David Copperfield, Copper? No. Copperfield stuff. No. You can see the wires, can't you? David <laughs> Copperfield. Yeah. There's no wires. No wires with you, right? But we do have a mirror in our show. Uh huh. And um, give the audience a chance to see themselves, which is a treat worth going <laughs> treat. to the show for, I think. You're on to it at the moment, aren't you? We How's are. it going? It's going very well, and um, the Devontees or spirit wives are amassing. Yeah, because you, know. you have got quite a loyal following, haven't we you? We have, yeah. It's surprising. Well, not surprising. It's not surprising. Not surprising. It? It's not surprising. They're very, very loyal, and they shout lots of nice things, you know, like sisters. And Do they? I can't mention some of the things, <laughs> actually. Well, that's enough. Yeah. Sisters is fine. That's nice. You've also, your music style has been compared to uh, Roxy Music, the early Bowie. What do you yeah. feel about that? Do you mind? Flattered. We don't mind at all. But, um, like any band, we're just ourselves. We're living out our subjective identities. <laughs> mm. Well, thanks very much for chatting to us. It's yeah, fine. Jason will be interrogating you and your tour bus later on. I shall look forward to it. Be prepared. Now it's time to go back to charts. Number 15 and the Rembrandts are still there with their friends. And the Phoenix Festival, which I believe you all will be at. We will, yeah, on the same day as Jamiroquai. Oh, fantastic. I thought yeah. it was Gabrielle. Same day as Gabrielle as well. So it's yeah. basically the same day as all of the pop bands, bar a few. Soul bands, I think they are. You were chatting to Gail earlier, and I, yeah. I, I personally, I have great responsibility for the viewers. I feel they should hear your latest song. What is it? It's This Is For Real. Alan's mum and dad, they brought him up quite well. They taught him how to read and write and how to speak and spell. But now he's getting older, he's broken all his toys. They're sending him on holiday with other
that's a nice bit of video, that. Thanks very much, sir. No, thank you very much, sir. It was all done by kindness. <laughs> thank you for that. Now then, on the hip mix, we like to expose rock and pop myths. Am I right? Yeah. 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 They're not wrong, they shout. Behind us here is one such myth. It's a tour bus. How many dates are you on this bus for? 30 days. That's a long time to be on a, a large bus, isn't it? It is, but it's like girl guide camp. Fantastic. Well, can I investigate? Yes, welcome to my vessel. Thank you very much. What Jason doesn't know is we've arranged our roadies to tie him up and make him our personal slave. <laughs> so this is it, life on the road. This is the top deck where all the crew and the band live. Hello. How do you do? How do you, what's your name? I'm the professor. Uh, and what do you do? I profess. To be... No, in... I'm the drummer. <laughs> are you the drummer? Yeah. Uh, but you also read. Do you ever well, do that are you stage? surprised by that? No, I just... Uh, normally, I thought you'd sort of be like zonked out or in a bar somewhere. Normally, yes. Okay. But it is the morning. <laughs> this is what life on the road is all about. Enjoy your book. Thanks very much. These, where are these trunks? These, some famous trunks somewhere. That's my fun. Here they are. These trunks featured in the video, uh, and they have their, their very own bunk. Is that right? He's dead. OK, not to worry. Who are you? I'm the lantern. And what do you do? I paint with light. Thank you. Right, then, here's the recreation area where you play... Uh, what was this? You're playing some kind of game, are you? Yeah, this is Jenga. Rock and roll Jenga. Fantastic. What do you do to relax? Sleep lots. Excellent. You see, it's all cutting-edge stuff. There's the video they've got playing that they play as they travel along the country lanes of England. And finally, this to me is the most important, there's rock chick in the corner there, the most important area of the coach, the nerve centre, where the food is made. What kind of recipes do you wrestle up here? Uh, salad, mainly. Excellent. <laughs> and what, niçoise? Uh, pardon? Thank you. There you are, this is life on the road, but now we've got a fabulous interview uh, with Monaco. If you want to know before you see that interview exactly how it all started, get a load of this. <laughs> Well, I'm still here, but I'd rather be over there. Do you want to come with me? Yay! Let's go! Join us next week. We've got a talking show. See ya! Bye, Bye now. Happy Father's Day to all the dads out there. All here. Bye.